Hey everyone, John Dran here, and today I just wanted to come to you with a quick uh, news flash of some great software that I found, and also to give you some sad news. Um, I'm going to Pakistan to visit my family for almost two months um, tomorrow, so there won't be any tutorials coming out very soon. I will be back for a brief moment in late July, in which I'll probably make a couple, and then I'm off to another um, city. I'm off into Venice. So, sorry to tell you guys that, but I will be on the lookout for great stuff to make as soon as I get back. Now, this is a software I found which just blew me away, and it relates to my um, machinima making. And if any of you are into that, you'll find this eternally helpful for anybody interested in making films, short films, animations, anything. So now what it is, is it's called CellTX, or CellTex, however you want to say it. It's free, and it's based on the UI for making Mozilla Firefox. It couldn't be easier to use. It lets you set up international standard scripts, and you can also turn it into PDFs, and it gives you scratch pads to just make your thoughts and stuff. You can make index cards, title pages, all sorts of stuff. Really, you know, sky's the limit for free software. And, you know, I love free software. So now, basically, you start off by picking a type of project, and it gives you a template for it. Now you can also create your own template if you don't like any of theirs. But I'm just going to go ahead and choose film. So now you start off with a scene or a heading. And this is given to you. It automatically types capital letters. And you can start keeping track of your scenes. Now when you hit enter, it immediately lets you choose action. But you can have an action, a character, a dialogue, documentation, transitions, a shot type, or text. So I'm going to go ahead and click shot and say, you know, camera pan onto building. As you can see, it has a built-in spell checker. So now I'm going to hit enter. Now it's action. So I can say man walk, walks up to building. Very simple. Enter. We can have more action, but I'm going to put in a character. And I'm going to call my character Tom. It immediately moves to dialogue. And you can, there's different shortcuts. If you press enter after a line, it'll go to the next thing. What's logical. You can press tabs. All sorts of different things. So Tom's going to say Good evening. Now you have room for another character. I'm going to call him Bob. And he's going to say, Hi. Now the advantage is, I come back to character. I type T and Tom is right there. I can hit enter. Or if there's multiple characters starting with T, I just write a little bit of his name, hit down arrow key, and press enter. This saves you the advantage of having to write the name of the person over and over and over. And really simplifies the whole process. So now you can have a transition say to black which I didn't spell correctly since I'm using one hand and now when you press enter it automatically creates a new scene. Don't want a new scene? You can add some text, transitions, whatever you want. So you know I'm gonna create Scene 2. Then you can add more stuff. Now, another cool thing is, you know, sometimes there's things you can't really include in here. Like, you know, where you're filming. Say you want to add that in. You can just click here for scene 1, say, add a note, and say, film my house. So, there's no formatting here. 
but anybody that reads the script will immediately see that there's a note attached to it and see that this scene is particularly being filmed in my house. Now, if I open up a project that I did, say, for my machinima, they're going to see that this note, the map is on high ground, we modified it in Forge to contain only two spawn points, we put two weapons in a side cave ready to be used in the scene because they're used over here. So instead of containing that all there, you can just have a bunch of side notes. That scene is right there. Now you can add in action, all sorts of things. So And really, you would think, you know, why do I need this? But truly, if there's one thing we learned filming through that machinima, was that having a full script in front of you is absolutely essential. Everybody always says it. Nobody always believes them until they experience it for themselves. So trust us, make a script. But, we found that making the script ourselves just by writing it wasn't the best idea. First of all, formatting was all over the place. We would indent and put a bunch of colons and all that stuff and did what we thought script was supposed to look like. But this keeps it all even. It makes it really easy to see. You can print it off and it's just all ready to go. It's saved. You can edit it. You can upload it online and have it be worked on collateral collaboratively. And, you know, it I think for a free software, this is one of the best things you can get from making scripts that actually work. Then you can take that to your game, to your video, apply it, and it it just works great. Now you can also have your project say turn into a comic book or you know you can have it change into like I can say adapt to a stage play audio play a comic book if I click comic book you can see that it's the type of formatting that you'd need in order to make a comic book so it's really helpful you know you got pages panels all sorts of things great really for making machinimas instead of having my own index cards can have them all here just like that you can have a professional title play you can title it say who it's by the author based on copyright contact information everything you need so just wanted to bring to you that flash of genius software hope you all get it it is free right now but because it's so great, I hardly see it being free forever. So grab it while you can. And that's it for the summer. I will be back in July and also coming back at the beginning of August to resume my tutorial making and my machinima making.